actual election results. Yeah, from Indiana? From three states, Indiana, New Let's Hampshire, see. and Kentucky, all with uh, less than 1% of precincts reporting. So they're a little meaningless. But, uh, but um, uh, they're all bad news. Oh. Let's start with Kentucky because we don't care. Oh, 73-25 Trump. Okay, how Kentucky? Who cares? Second, okay. we don't no, care we about in the end. Don't care. 69-28. Okay. Talk about how historically pathetic the Democratic Party is. That they let this guy, who has never had any success in business, he's had a track record of monumental failure, and they let him win the presidency and become the most powerful. The, the um, Democratic Party is gone. But I'm at war with the Democratic Party. This corporatist, weak, spineless, pathetic party that lets the imbeciles uh, on the Republican side walk all over this country, that handed power to a, a, a raging, not just bigot, but an incompetent. And I'm done with the losers. And I'm done with those donors. I don't give a fuck what the donors want. Okay, so the DNC, you think we're coming for you? You're goddamn right we're coming for you. We're going to pulverize the DNC. We're going to rip it to shreds. Yes, we are at war now. So even if some, by some miracle here, as we're past 11 o'clock Eastern in our live coverage, by some miracle Hillary Clinton wins, I don't care. We're still at war. We're still at war. Because you are this close to handing Trump ultimate power on this planet. Are you insane, you pathetic losers? <clears throat> Brought to you by the fucking morons at the Democratic Party. I don't know what CNN is doing, but I bet if you turn into their live coverage now, they were all there, hush time. Bro. Okay, now reporting for Wisconsin is still uh, going to Donald Trump. Nobody's saying, hey, we're going to war. Nobody's saying, hey, oh my God, this is a monumental, grotesque failure of the Democratic party that every single person at the dnc should be fired because they're not that animated they don't care oh i'm a news actor what does it say in the prompter let me read the goddamn prompter I'm a, i get paid for this am i still getting 10 million a year great let me read the goddamn prompter so TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. okay so okay hang on to your 68 year old audience okay but the younger people have no interest in wolf blitz or reading anything to them no interest at all so keep on reading your stupid ass script we're gonna murder you Okay, we're going to end you. We're going to finish you. We're going to rebuild the Democratic Party to a point where they're going to be afraid of us. But at the same time, Latinos, what have you done? Um, I have no respect for women who voted for Trump. Okay? Yeah. I think so poorly of them. And the reason why is because, look, I don't think that you're a single issue voter. I just think you're dumb. Okay, I think you're fucking dumb. I just, I'm losing my mind tonight because of how stupid the majority of the country is. Another thing we're done with today is the era of politeness. Absolutely. Oh, so, absolutely. So progressives, don't listen to the Democratic Party who tell you to move yourself and be fucking polite. Okay? No, no. It, it, progressives, are, we're not going to be polite anymore. You know what we're going to do? Something that the DNC has cock blocked this entire fucking time, we're gonna fight them. The hero of politeness for the progressives is over. When it comes to poor white people, I'm gonna quote my friend Matt Kazam and say, Look, I got my own problem. Yeah. You know, I can't be, I mean, this is, they're, they're the group Can you that, think about me for one minute? No, you're on your own. <laughs> they, um, they are the people who I've said continuously, they get what they deserve. Hey, look, man, you, you gotta give us power, man. Because without money, we don't have power. Let's just keep it real. So you, 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 let, let's go on a barn burner tour through, through the red states, man. Let's go talk to them. Let's wake them up. Hey, hey, uh, it, in whatever language they uh, understand, and you wanna you wanna get in the beginning, you wanna be a, be a little rough uh, verbally, right? And and get them a little angry. Then they'll show up to a rally. They'll show up, right? And the brakes are off now. Okay, so like, hey, you know, I, before I'm worried about asking you guys for to become members and get independent media, I'm not worried about it at all anymore. You got to join. If you don't join, how can we fight back? back? Founders were slave owners who died when they were 40. Like, they not, they weren't so, they weren't such geniuses. Yeah. And in four years, <laughs> when we uh, uh, hopefully beat her with, uh, beat him with, I don't know who, maybe Hillary Clinton could run again. Um, the, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it's her turn. It's her turn. Um, 
the, uh, <laughs> and so, um, shoot, I actually lost a train of thought. Is it? it yeah. They actually have. Okay. okay, bless their hearts. That's, a, that's cute. That's cute. They're, they're flipping okay. the side of That's super cute. Side. That's super cute. And to the motherfuckers on Twitter fucking me right now, I just want to know. I'm ready for the revolution. <laughs> you got me fucked up. I'm not that big. But what right wingers love to talk about? Take personal responsibility. No, here's the thing. Um, affirmative action is not the reason why you failed in life. Uh, uh, the reason why you failed in life is because you fucking suck. Okay? It's because you're a loser. <laughs> white folks think, oh my god, we just get in. And whenever I say white folks in this country, you know I mean white women. Uh, I, I think that uh, we can now declare uh, Hillary Clinton the worst candidate uh, in American history. Uh, the worst politician in our lifetime. It, certainly in our lifetime. Uh, I don't know how, you know, uh, the guys from back in the day, Tippica Moon and Tyler too were. But uh, so uh, she lost to a guy named Barack Hussein Obama. She couldn't beat Donald Trump. Jesus Christ. With everybody on her side. Oh. With everybody trying to help her. Freaking Republicans were coming out of the woodwork to try to help her. Even J.D. tried to help JC, her. J.C., <laughs> Beyonce, for Bruce Springsteen. No, everybody, everybody, every freaking television comedian, everybody was on her side. Even guys like Michael Moore. I Robert mean, De Niro. Everybody. And she still lost to this guy. What does that tell you? Donald Trump is president of the United States. Uh, wow. She had no message. No message. What, what was, was her message? What was her Listen. message? As, huh. And even her own campaign statement, I'm with her. What does it even mean? You know, he won like 35% of the Latino vote. Yes. That's unbelievable he to did. me. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, Unbel he won 45% of the women vote. You know, after she won the nomination, I, I know for me personally, as a progressive, I wanted so desperately for him not to win that I started playing mind games on myself as well. Maybe she can win. Maybe she can beat him. The alt-right falls under that category. These are the racists who don't want to take personal responsibility they're for their failures for in Democrats. life. And they're, they're not going to vote for Democrats. You're right. But what I'm trying to say is Hillary not winning is not due to one reason. There are many different reasons. I, I, but I actually think it is. So, I, look, again, I'm going to go over Just, the top here. Then why did you send Jordan to do all those interviews? No, no, and no, why no. did we play them on the show? Let me explain. No, 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 no